I hate telly. <laughs> I hate telly expensive things. It's Tuesday. It's time for Wingnuts. Welcome to Wingnuts. Home of micro maintenance. So, welcome back. This is your exclusive behind the scenes access to one of the largest micro lights and ultralight maintenance centers in the UK here at Micro Maintenance. We've had a crazy busy week, so I'm going to give you a quick hang a walk around just to let you know what we've been up to this week and some of the things uh, that we've got coming ahead in next week. So <laughs> Where to begin? Uh, here we have a Sky Ranger Swift that's been with us for a little bit of time now. Shelley's been fault finding on this particular aircraft. It initially came in for a 200 hour engine service and a gearbox service. So, this gearbox has um, come off a 100 horsepower uh, 912 and it's having a gearbox service. So, um, I'm stripping the gearbox and taking all the components out. So what we've got here is um, I've got the gearbox set on a set on a stand. So the weight's been taken on the end of the prop shaft, and um, the idea is that we compress compress all the gearbox components down on the uh, springs, disc springs that are inside to the point where we're able to get out the um, the two ring halves that lock everything in place and um, yeah so that's what, we're, that's what we're doing. With every aircraft that we come in uh, we do a full inspection uh, particularly of the engine just to see if there are any initial faults we also like to do a run-up just so that we know what this aircraft sounds like before we press start again um, and on the initial inspections on this one, Shelley found uh, a number of issues, some to do with the installation, some to do with, uh, with just use really. So it was nice that Shelley was able to get in here and we would talk with the owners. There's some work that we're going to do to this initial aircraft now uh, and then we're going to get them booked back in towards the end of the season where we can do some of the more uh, difficult stuff uh, without keeping the plane out of the air for too long. One well, of the main issues that we had with this was that the uh, magnetic plug was seized in and so Alan had to use his expertise and we had to get the welder out, weld a, uh, a pin on there uh, just so we could remove the mag plug. Well hi Ben, um, <coughs> we've got a, a magnetic plug here in the engine which is seized in mm -hmm. and the hexagon uh, drive on that has been uh, um, malformed now we're trying to get it undone so we've made up a special bolt here and I'm going to put it on there and I'm going to weld it in. right Ben we'll try uh, see how, how effective that weld's been well probably a bit tight now oh, there we go hey hey Marvelous. No, there we go. We just happen to have a couple of aircraft in here with the where we can show you a, a Blue Peter star before and after. <laughs> so, um, so the, the the one that got stuck in the other aircraft was the um, the Torx head, old style. This one you can just start. You can see that the teeth are starting to round off, but at the minute it's still okay. But I would highly advise this owner to get the new hex head plug and um, this is one that we did earlier that had exactly the same problem I managed to get the torx head out of this one but I couldn't I couldn't re it up so this one has been fitted with the um, with a new plug. Whilst we were working on this particular aircraft we also spotted that the cable uh, um, arrangements the throttle and the choke cables uh, just been 
cut down shorter uh, very on varying services and so they've just reached their sort of serviceable life so whilst we're working on this aircraft we've changed the throttle cables uh, and the choke cables so great to be uh, working with Flylight who supplied us with the uh, manufactured parts but yeah a little bit of a fiddly job uh, but worth it in the long run so this aircraft's going to be with us uh, for a little bit of time hopefully we can get this aircraft out next week so the guys can go and fly it so yeah that was quite a, uh, a fun job on the Sky Ranger we're going to look after these guys as well so as soon as it's done we're going to give it a full valet all the way through um, and make sure it's nice and shiny when they disappear okay RANS update so we we're able to get the windscreen on this one so it was nice to uh, to get working on this quite an awkward job but I just got to that point where it was just going a little bit too easy I'm thinking it's going too easy we haven't done any um permanent fixings yet and there's nothing sort of holding us back we couldn't literally go and make some permanent fixings but experience tells me that something somewhere is lurking and I'm just trying to uh, identify, where, identify where that certain something might be so uh, yeah we, we tend to stop when things go that way just to make sure that we aren't setting ourselves up for a fail we also had small issues, as we discussed earlier in the last episode, with the landing gear. So we ended up having a small Zoom conference with the owners uh, and the guys over at Skycraft, just for a workaround. And uh, we finally, actually today, got an email for uh, no technical objection, so we're able to go ahead with this. So hopefully, this aircraft should be leaving us um, next week. But yeah. It's uh, nice to see the screen back on that one there. We always try to leave the screen to be last uh, because you don't want to scratch that when you're doing any other jobs. Other updates, look at this. Last week our first sale went straight to the USA and it's the first Adam in the USA. Uh, so that was, that was really exciting. We didn't see it unfortunately um, before it went, but uh, it's, it arrived on Monday. And that was that um, process for you. And it was <laughs> <laughs> it was the first time for me doing any export um, freight, so it was challenging, <laughs> a little bit stressful, but I got there. Today we've just been down to Northampton to pick up our second sail, another add-in, and we've got it on the back of the trailer. We're just taking it back to Darlingmore. Uh, quite nerve-wracking, it's a busy road, thousands of pounds worth on the back of the trailer, no pressure mark. <laughs> I hate towing, I hate towing expensive things. New owner, Daniel, who's been doing training with us, well with Mark, so it's really exciting to have had the process from the start, taking the initial order, getting the specifications into what Daniel wants, um, showing him what it's going to look like once it's finished. And now we've got it, and we're going to take it back, and then we're going to see Daniel flying it, taking it off, taking off from Darley Moor in it, which is a really lovely, really lovely process to be a part of. And what we're going to look at doing with this next week, we're going to get the wing rigged. Uh, we need to weigh the aircraft and do its max fuel limitations, uh, the initial run ups, and we're going to do the initial check flight on there. I'm hoping that we can. Um, get one of our test pilots to go, I want to fly it myself, I haven't flown an Adam yet, they uh, look stunning. Retractable landing gear, who doesn't want retractable landing gear? So anyway, that was, uh, that's an, uh, an Adam in stunning yellow. Uh, what else have been going on? So we had one of the questions uh, in the comments section about what we're doing with our custom Ninja and some of the mods that we put on there. So I don't know if you guys can see, I'll try to get you a better angle. You can see that we've hidden the entire avionics system uh, under the seats here. It makes it a lot more accessible um, should you have any problems or need to switch anything out. Obviously, um, some things need their firmwares updating, but let me just talk through this. So it's a full trig system that's gone into this. So we have a transponder a GPS system, which is wired in to give us ADSB. We also have got a pilot aware Rosetta. This is external aerial kit and GPS bug on there as well. This is linked into the audio and those of you who find Karen very irritating, we've also put a switch so we can turn Karen off, particularly when you're coming into land, it can be quite irritating. Uh, but yeah, there's audio switch uh, on there as well. Over on the other side, we have a, another trig um, radio system. 
Uh, we've also got a video processor. So if you can see here, we have one bullet camera that's facing forwards, picks up the instruments uh, and the dash view. We also have one looking back, back to the pilot, and we're also sticking one out on the tail. Uh, and that picks up three cameras. This is a four camera system. So we've left one free because a lot of the vloggers out there like to have uh, head cams and things like that. That records directly into the DVI box, which acts pretty much like a, uh, a dash cam. And when we turn on the battery master, it starts recording. So there's no forgetting to press uh, record and missing out that, uh, that bit of footage. We've also fitted on this a solar panel system. This is a lithium solar charger. And this is gonna have a, uh, a solar panel in the back there that produces 30 amps. Um, yeah, it took some installing and, and some thoughts on the wiring of that. But we've even done tests and it still charges even in, in a hangar with uh, an element of, of UV. So great to put that system in there. One of the things that we've also done some work on this aircraft this week uh, was on the flap lever or more importantly, our flap lever indicator. Little box down here, made by Micro Maintenance. Take a look at this. Flaps one. Flaps two. Flap indicator switches. And they're just stunning. It's a, a design that we put on another aircraft um, that we were really impressed. So we were able to develop that system uh, and install it onto this one as well. So let's have a look what's going on the front end. So you can see we're using a full Cardania uh, instrument setup. Bear with me, let's turn battery master. So we're using a full Cardania system. So that should wire itself up, uh, go through its test system. We also got it battery back up on there. Switches are separate. So all of these are main sort of flying switches. So we have the avionics switch on there, which will power up the trig radio and the trig transponder. One of the things that we find when we're flying, obviously, if you're two up, uh, if the radio system's all the way over here, which is what this spare panel idea was for there, uh, if you're flying on the other side, it's just stretching over uh, in order to grab uh, or change frequencies. So we thought we would stick it up here. So we've developed this top box. Again, if you know Sky Rangers, there's cables that come down here. Uh, so to make that work. So here we go. Flaps one, flaps two. Isn't that stunning? Nice and bright. Uh, correctly colored as well so it doesn't confuse you on there and on this side we have all of the secondary avionics so things like pilot aware that's on there we've also got a separate augs point on this side so you can charge your phone uh, phone during flight let's look up at the cockpit here overhead console who doesn't want one of those so this is one of our custom brackets that holds the clock uh, we've got all sorts of uh, lighting panels that are over here so wing lights nav lights, uh, strobes, white and red. Yeah, lots going on uh, in this particular aircraft. Anyway, this is our custom build. Lots going on on there. What I'll do is I'll make the aircraft safe. What else has been going on? So into engineering. And again, we think we've sorted out the strobing. So bear with me. And here we have our Alan with his favorite tool, his measurometer. <laughs> Alan's been doing a, a number of things. One of the things he's working on at the moment is we call them Alan brackets. So Alan's very, very good at, at making custom brackets uh, to suit a specific need or a specific location. And we make those uh, magical things. What are you working on at the minute? Mate? Well, I've just completed that bracket and I'm just measuring up the round. Ah, oh, right. Okay. So that we okay. can make the packing pieces. Yeah. So. One of the other things that's gone on this week, that Sky Ranger that came in, also came in for a gearbox service. So those of you that haven't seen the inside of a gearbox, <laughs> all the workings, here are all of the very expensive parts that make that spinny thing go around at the front. So that's the internals of a uh, Rotax 912. And of course the critical part is, oh, there's the prop is measuring these spines for wear is a particular part of this inspection. Yeah, so lots going on in engineering. What else has been going on? Cheers, Al. Uh, another thing that we've been able to do is get this wing rigged. So this is one that we cleaned on a previous um, episode. So this had a wing treatment to get rid of the mildew. 
it's really come up great so when we rig this as well we give it its final clean <coughs> we've gone through and make sure all the bungees are correct so yes it was nice to get this rigged this has been rigged because we're hoping to get it back on the trike so we can get it out to the customers those of you who beady eyed you'll see that the engine has gone back in the gt450 that's fantastic because that means that that's going to get sorted pretty soon we hinted last week that we are looking at some varying mods and one of the things that i've been looking at is seat belts look at those colors i want orange seat belts with this aircraft i think this will look fantastic what do you think anyway the idea is that we can produce these so that they can be an aftermarket mod so those guys that are flying pbs adams uh, and bivy bees hopefully we're gonna have a, a nice color coordinated seat belt for you that's what's been going on in here um again fantastic to see the amount of subscribers that we've got it's uh, for something that we just do on a daily daily basis uh, that you guys are actually interested in it so please do feel free to send us uh, any comments or questions Click the subscribe button if you want to see some more of our exclusive videos we're trying to put out some useful content out there so if there's anything that you're interested in or any specials that you're interested in say gearbox servicing or how to do a 100 hour engine service um yeah drop us a shout that would be nice to know so yeah really appreciate the support that we're getting the feedback has been fantastic and we're finding it very very encouraging Another job that we're going to be working on next week is this Katana. So this is a Katana with a Rotax 912 in there. This is a new avenue for us. So it's nice to be working on a, a different classification, more of a sports aircraft for us. So yeah, we're looking forward to getting in there. The paperwork is probably going to be the biggest part of the job. But yeah, we're looking forward to it. Anyway, thank you so much for spending the time to watch our videos. Click in the subscribe button if you want to see more. We have plenty in our playlist that you can look at as well. And as always, we'll see you next Tuesday. Thanks ever so much, guys. See you soon.